All right, we got a no heat call. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. All right, so I just had the home on her. Turn both of them to heat. Sound like the uh, inducer fan running. Probably gonna have a time delay on it. So that, that's just a blower. It de defaulted into the fan problem. Turn both of them on, buddy. Hello. Hey, how you doing? How are you? All right. So we have multiple problems actually, not one. Oh yeah? The first one is this, it doesn't start. Mm -hmm. And it's just sudden. Mm -hmm. I noticed it uh, a couple of weeks back mm -hmm. when I started from the bottom thermostat, mm -hmm. it did not kick off. When I started from the upper thermostat, it kicked off. So I didn't pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. But the day before yesterday, it didn't start anywhere. Okay. And we can see a flashing light on the zone controller here. Mm -hmm and the flashing light here yeah that's one problem yeah the other problem my friend is mm -hmm. you've been here before right? no i haven't i don't think so uh, you came once i called mm -hmm. and you checked the, the damper controllers okay if you remember i mean i, I may have yes, but i did. mean yes you did yeah i'm you pretty good into many houses but... yeah i do but i'm pretty good with <laughs> I places get... I, I don't really I don't get AC mm -hmm. technicians every day, so yeah. I remember you now. Okay, okay. You came, the AC mm -hmm. was freezing, mm -hmm. if you remember, if you remember now. Okay. So, the distribution of air around the house mm -hmm. is not normal. Mm -hmm. So, even if the zone is active, mm -hmm. like I don't have flow downstairs. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. So, that's so the other thing. So it's both cold and heat. Okay, so when I came out last time, it was a damper problem. We did uh, not find the problem with the dampers. Mm -hmm. The dampers are working. Because mm -hmm. as soon I as swear, you I left, the second I, day, mm -hmm. everything was fine. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't recall. Uh, yeah, you said probably check the, the numbers. I mm -hmm. told you how much they cost. They said it's 250 something. Mm -hmm. And you told me you can buy it for whatever, half of that amount. Yeah. If you can do it yourself. Uh, like I said, I, I don't recall. But uh, we'll make sure the numbers are working. And doing, doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. I'm supposed to, to give you your fees. Yeah. Do, right? Mm -hmm. So, but just try to fix this. Yeah. I read mm -hmm. about this. It's saying the the limit sensor. Mm, yeah, that, that sensor right there. Yeah. A lot of time when that... Um, it's saying too high. Yeah. So They, they not... go out all the time. Um, see how so if that sensor is not working, it will not kick off the heat. Right? Because it's saying it's already hot. Right. Yes, a uh, supply or discharge air temperature sense. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this thing gonna work on this one. Yeah, I have to go. If it is that, I have to go pick up one. But uh, usually you can bypass it and the heat will run if you just take the wires off. Oh. Yeah. This it, you right? can bypass it. So, but, yeah, I mean, but, but I, I can get one today. But it will, it will not it will not stop. Heat, it right? looks like one. This may be the original right here, but this is it right here. That's the original one. Charge, that's it. Yeah, somebody so that's replaced. probably the new one. Or somebody replaced it. Replace or something no, but I've been here for four years. Mm -hmm. I, I did not replace it. Nobody replaced it. It never been replaced. Yeah, that's probably the original one then. So you think it's the sensor? 
uh, I'm finna check it now. I haven't checked it, but uh, with that alarm code when it was blinking like that, I guess you should listen. That's that. It's the sensor. Yeah, that's the manual for the yeah. zone control. Yeah. Ah, there's nothing in there. Yeah, they have alarm codes in here. Yeah, it has a blinking code and it says maximum limit uh, reach or something mm -hmm. like this. It's a blast. Oh, that Yeah, so it it's flashing on that high limit, so high limit, yeah. it's think it's, it's 250 degrees, yes. but it's not 250 degrees because yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's the, the heater's not even on, yeah, but it's so still going off on 250 degrees, so it, it's a bad sense. See, it did not keep up that heat. The, the, yeah, it's already. See, it's blinking. See the heat? Yeah, yeah, it's blinking, so. All I gotta do is if I just take a wire and loose it and stop moving. Okay, so you say in the cooling season, certain zones don't get enough air? The, the downstairs. Downstairs don't get enough we air. Don't get enough air. There is one room that all the air flows into it, mm -hmm. and the other rooms are like there is barely air. Heat and cold, the same thing. So if the heater is on, mm -hmm. there is one room I'm sitting in mm -hmm. near the entrance, the first room. So the room that gets a lot of air, do y'all use that room a lot? No, we don't use it a lot. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't sit in that room. Yeah, because if it's dampers up here, you can kind of close the damper by 80% close, and the air has to go somewhere, so it's going to force air into the rooms that... Not yeah, but that, that room, they, they have two zones, so there are two dampers, right? Mm -hmm. Well, um... But there are dampers yeah. to every room. There is see that label number one. There, there is another one, number two, on the okay, other side. Okay, so you got two dampers, one for upstairs, yeah. one for downstairs. This one probably the upstairs right here. Yeah, there is one here. I think there is another one on the other side or somewhere. Okay. Yeah, you can see. You can see. Yeah, it's on the other side. Yeah, see that was just one. So there is one, one for upstairs. That's what I'm saying. So it's so it just one big damper right here. So you see, it's just one big damper. So let's just say. Let's just say if this zone, zone right here is the one that's getting real cold, if you have to put a damper on here and, and close it off right here, and it's going to force air into this one. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. But it, there's probably no damper. It may be, may be adjustable dampers on here, but this just uh, controls the upstairs and the downstairs. Yeah. So. So, but sometimes even downstairs, mm -hmm. we don't see an airflow at all. Even the zone is on. Right, even the even on. both e of them are on. Even if it's on, yeah. And and uh, when it's calling for it downstairs, are you getting any air downstairs or none at all? Sometimes we get, sometimes we don't. Most of the time, we have a problem that mm -hmm. there is no how air long, flow. How long do you wait? Oh, well, you wait forever. Okay, because sometimes uh, cause I cannot do anything about it, you know. Yeah, I'm just saying because sometimes it purge, and uh, and by the way, it's not you who came the last time, yeah. I don't think it was. I, I took your uh huh, your mask off. yes, sir. I, I, I remember my customer faces, I don't do names well, but I remember faces, oh. especially when I started moving around this equipment. I can kind of tell yeah. where no, I've been, you. but it yeah. looked similar to you, yeah. <clears throat> That flashing light doesn't mean anything. That's a delay. Ah, the best delay. Uh, a lot of times they have a five minute delay once it loses power. Yeah.
It just, yeah. But see the alarm clear, so it just purrs in right now. No, when you turn it off, the alarm clears. I did this. I yeah. did, turned it off and mm -hmm. turned it on. I turned it off yeah. because I work in computers. Mm -hmm. The first thing you do, turn it off. Turn it off. Reset. It fix it. Reset power. Find something else. Yeah. Right? So I turned this off. Mm -hmm. I turned the furnace off from mm -hmm. the main breaker. Mm -hmm. And then nothing changed. Yeah. Yeah, see the warranty company though, they don't uh, cover the duct work. Mm -hmm. They don't cover the duct work. So the homeowner will have to pay out of pocket to troubleshoot yeah. any duct work. Yeah, there, there is no problem with the ducts. All of them are open and air flowing, but I don't know why the distribution mm -hmm. is not fine. The thermostat calling for it. Still calling for heat. Yeah. Mm. Let's get a couple more minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go continue my work. Oh. Oh. All right, my friend. Thank you. All right, now no problem. Know what happens. Okay. My son is gonna stay with you. Yeah. You should get ready to kick on here in a minute. Yeah, I have a work. I, if know? it is a sensor, though, yeah, there we go. See, it's on now. See, that's inducer motor. Once that kick in, it's gonna close the pressure switch. And then you're gonna hear the little click, 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 click for the igniter. And then the gas valve will open up and it'll start heating. There we go right there. So it is a bad sensor. So uh, I'm gonna run to get one. Uh, I should be back today, but like I say, Trust me, uh, I'm gonna monitor it, but it's, it's not getting 250 degrees. So yeah, we know, know it's a bad sit. So no, what I'm saying though, it's safe to run. If I knew that you put this wire off, uh, will kick up the heat? Yeah. I would have done it yesterday already <laughs> before. Now, I say you, yeah, yeah. Oh, I say you don't want to do that though. I mean, uh, no, I said I don't want to yeah. tamper with it because yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, but I'm, I put just portable heaters mm -hmm. and put them next to me. Uh, yeah. now yeah right I, had, I actually just used I had one in my truck I just used it the other day somebody had the same problem yeah I'm gonna have to keep. you're gonna check the air flow to see what what's what might you need for, for it I mean like I said I can go around and kind of check yeah. check the air flow but the, uh, your warranty don't cover distribution of all, all this air it just make sure that the yeah. water is not from the dam yes the warranty covers the dampers. Yeah. No, they don't. No, they don't cover this equipment. They don't do zone system. Oh. They do not cover the zone system. No. Oh, only the, yes. The, yeah. The, the equipment the itself, the, like drain lines and stuff like that, they don't cover that. They they cover the equipment itself. Yeah. Yeah, but like I say, my, my main, because I mean, there's several options we can do. You can kind of show me around when I come back, not right now. I want to get get the part, just let the heater run. When I come back, just show me the area downstairs that you have a problem with. Yeah, it's, it's really the bit of Uh-huh. But those, really I can tell you though, know, those dampers right there, they the old dampers. Uh, that's called a Honeywell damper. They don't make those no more. They're obsolete. It's a newer damper that they that they have now. The actuator, it's, it's like a gray plastic. Uh, so those are old. Those are known to go out. So like you say, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. It may be getting stuck or anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. It may not be open and sometimes, sometimes it do open. Yeah. But I mean, we, I can quote it, uh, put an actuator on there. And I will find out if the one that cover does cover that actuator. But from my experience, they don't cover the duct work. But if the owner has a, a what, I think what they call Supreme coverage, whatever coverage, it's depending on what kind of coverage he has too. Some, some, some Supreme coverage cover everything. So I have to look on the contract. I don't think he has Supreme coverage. No. But I, I'll take a look at it and see what's going on. Yeah, all right, no problem. Alright, 
So I'm gonna let that run. Like I say, it, it's safe. If you bypass these supply, discharge that temperature sensor, they'll come on. But uh, they gonna need to be replaced to clear that alarm. These are dampers they talking about. Like I said, these dampers here is obsolete. They got a newer style damper, so. Like I said, I don't know what the cause of the airflow, but we want to get new actuators, we can do that. But I don't think the, his plan covered that. All the wires are hooked up. I'm guessing number two for the second floor. And number one for the first floor. This is a box for the sensor. I don't know if they left this up because it's the original. Or what? But this is what I need. So I'm gonna run and get one of them to come back. Yeah. 